Okay, welcome to the Trails Radio Show. Today I have a special guest, actor, Mr. Ed Taylor. Hi, how are you? Great, Trey, how are you? <laughs> Good. <laughs> well, I'm honored to be on your uh, show here, so, so thank you. Yes, it is a pleasure talking to you. Okay, um, I have a few questions for you. Are you, you think you could uh, answer them? Well, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How did you get started in the entertainment industry? Like, well, yeah, that's a great question. Um, you know, I was, I don't know exactly where the line between some of my prior life and entertainment was. <laughs> so, in other words, I, I, I started professional speaking many years ago in the in the 90s mm -hmm. and uh, I, uh, I was uh, running around the country giving talks giving presentations speaking to uh, to large groups and, and of course that was uh, a real uh, training ground these were educational talks primarily about marketing and I was talking to a business audience so it wasn't entertainment like a stand-up show or yeah. something like that right but but it was definitely, in, in hindsight, that was laying the foundation for what I later started doing. And so I, I bridged in the, um, in the early 2000s. I started volunteering in Ashland, Oregon, which was my home at the time, mm -hmm. um, as Santa Claus. <laughs> a friend of mine was sick, and, uh, and he had volunteered himself, and he called and pleaded with me to fill in for him, mm -hmm. uh, which I did reluctantly. Um, but I found that I loved it. So I, I just loved it. So the next seven years I spent volunteering to be Santa Claus in local parades and fundraisers for the hospital and, and all those kinds of things. And so that was a little more on the entertainment side. There's nothing educational about it and, and like I have been doing. Um, but I, at the same time, I didn't really see myself at that time as an entertainer, I was just being Santa, you know. And yes. Then uh, in, uh, in 2011, I, I actually started getting paid. I was offered a job to, to be Santa. Mm -hmm. And that, that really got me thinking about, you know, the, the, the performance aspect. You know, I, I, yeah. I, it, it felt different to me when I start, started to accept money. <laughs> Yeah. For, for, for trained Santa, I wanted, I wanted to really be as good as I could be, and I wanted to find ways to get better. So the last uh, the last eight years, I've really been on this, uh, what I would call this journey within the entertainment industry, where I've done both a, a lot of, um, of personal appearances and, of course, a, a fair amount, a growing amount of work in television and movies and all those sorts of things. <laughs> yeah, and people most recognize your most recognizable role is Santa Claus. Really, that's what you've mainly. Oh, definitely. Yeah, definitely. For me, um, I, you know, when, when I when I first got an agent in Hollywood, um, there there was this thought about doing more than Santa Claus. You know, maybe I could be a you know a caveman or a biker <laughs> or, or something. You know, different things because because the facial hair be on the big white beard. Yes. And my, in my case, my beard is naturally white. And now there are other Santa Claus performers who bleach their beard. Um, and so during the off season, it's a little easier for them to to you know portray other parts if they want to do that. They can be a pirate or something. Yes. Uh, <laughs> For me, I show up at an audition to be a pirate or a, a you know a biker or something like that. They say, you know, what's Santa doing here? You know? <laughs> <laughs> so for me, it's, it's, it's all very natural. So then I, I wanted to look at how can I expand what I do as Santa Claus, you know. So I'm, I'm not really as interested in expanding into additional roles, just to, to do all that I can do as Santa and do it. Uh, and, 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 and develop skills and become better at what I do for training Santa. So it's a, it's a unique little niche for me. <laughs> yeah. And um, you've done, I'm looking at your resume, you've done um, a lot of films 
oh, a couple of film works as Santa Claus, and you. Yeah. I was just a stand-in uh, for a, a, in a movie called um, Santa Stole My Dog, which will actually come out this year. And Ed Asner is the actual Santa, and he's a great guy. I absolutely love um, him. What you know? What an icon! What a what a lifetime yes. actor he is. You know, but, so it's wonderful to be able to spend some time with him. Uh, but. In some of the scenes, they wanted a bigger Santa, mm-hmm. and, uh, and and Ed, Ed's getting a, a little up there in age, and uh, so anyway, they had me come in and to do some scenes where you can't tell it's me, but but I was fortunate enough to be a part of that movie and to work with that crew and team. And then the other movie is called Beverly Hills Christmas 2. Um, and that was a, a, a great film as well. And that also should be out this year. So uh, uh, Margaret O'Brien it was the star, the, the, um, the, the classic actress that goes way, way, way back. Mm-hmm. Uh, but she's, she's a, a star in that one as well. So that was a, an incredible blessing for me to be able to be a part of that uh, film. Uh, and then in addition to that, I've done a, a fair amount of television work. I was on the Jimmy Kimmel show last year and mm-hmm. been on the Today Show. I was on the Doctors last year and um, I was on a movie or a television show called The Talk and Guilty Pleasures. I was on it. Yeah, so I've, I've done all these, all, all these great things. Guilty Pleasures has a strange sound to it. It's actually a show on the Food Network where I got to eat a Yule log. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm familiar with a lot of those TV shows. I might have seen you on them shows, but I don't know if I, I could tell that. Yeah. <laughs> um, so you just, have you done any other acting roles besides Santa, or is Santa just your main passion for acting? Well, I've done a couple of other roles. Um, Santa is by far my main passion, and I, and I love what Santa Claus represents. I, I every day I wear a red red shirt. <laughs> Normally, I'm in I'm in Los Angeles. So I'm typically wearing like I'm wearing this very minute a white shorts and a red t-shirt, and I um, am very recognized everywhere I go. It, it, uh, whether I'm walking or pumping gas or in the grocery store or whatever, uh, as Santa Claus, not as you know Ed, but as Santa Claus. <laughs> and so I have a ton of fun with that. But I have done a couple of other little roles i was in a music video where i was a um a street sage you know this a you know the the the, the eyes of wisdom you know as the artist is uh yeah. is doing his thing and that was a fun role <laughs> another i was a banker kind of like the monopoly man banker kind of a guy with a top hat and tux uh, for a video that we did a youtube video for uh, snapchat that we did a couple of years ago. Um, and there may be a couple, couple of others that are escaping me right now, but, uh, but that, that, that's, 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 those are the ones that come to mind right away. Yes. Um, um, let's see what, uh, did, do you have a memorable moment if someone has recognized you as Santa? Like, do you have a favorite moment if someone has ever recognized you? Like, um, yeah, that's a great question. Um, I have I have just dozens of, but you know, mostly it's it's in the the moment, kind of the eyes of, of the child when they turn around and they look up and they see, oh my goodness, and their, their eyes go big and they're and they're, they're, they're shocked. And, you know, I, I had one at um, at Costco. I was walking through Costco and. Uh, parents had a youngster with them, uh-huh. and uh, and he looked over and, and saw me. He's probably I don't know, maybe five years old, um, and and his eyes just got big as saucers. And anyway, he wanted to feel my beard, you know. And, and so we, we were talking, and I and I carry little little cards in my pocket um, that I have with me just all the time, and they they say you were caught being nice. And then below that says, "Let's keep this Christmas spirit alive all year long." Mm-hmm. But I, I give these cards out. I give I give uh, uh, thousands of these cards out every year. And um, 
So whenever I interact with uh, people anywhere, and I, I, I'll tell you another thing that this is kind of unique, or, or I found it uh, pleasantly surprising, uh, but I, I've had on a number of occasions um, people buy things for me when I was in a drive through line. Like I might be driving through a Starbucks, <laughs> and, uh, and then somebody you know, um, sees me and they buy my coffee. Um, and then I've had the same thing happen at, uh, at the hamburger places and things like that. And I thought that was really, really nice. I, it was certainly something I've never uh, anticipated or anything like that. And people just really nice to Santa Claus. <laughs> They're buttering me up, I think. I want to be on the nice list, you know. Um, but, but I've also done a, a fair amount of performing on, um, different stages where, uh, like I was at the Arc Light Theater last year mm-hmm. and um, in Hollywood, and, uh, where we're part of a bigger show where Santa Claus comes out. Um, and, and so, so and, and in one, I think we, we led some Christmas carols, uh, you know, Santa and Mrs. Claus, um, you know, so we get to do some of that kind of stage performance as well. <laughs> but again, in my case, pretty much all is Santa Claus. Yeah, and it's I find it interesting of uh, how you portray Santa Claus. I find it wonderful what you do with the Santa Claus role. Well, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I try to keep it very natural. You know, I, to me, one of uh, one of the things that I fell in love with the first time, like I mentioned earlier, that I reluctantly volunteered as a Santa. Yeah. Uh, the the reason that I that I fell in love with it is I just. I, I, I loved how people um, reacted to Santa Claus. And, and, and in a way, it opened me up to be more loving, more, um, uh, more open, I think. And so it's really, really unique. And what I've found is that over the years, I've been doing this um, now for, for 15 years, mm-hmm. and I, I almost see it as a kind of a... a journey of personal development where where it's a I have grown so much and, and become so much more uh, it sounds corny in a way but more <laughs> kind of more loving you know and, and that 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 everywhere I go people you know they're they're hugging me and wanting to get pictures and I recognize it's not me Ed Taylor it, it's me looking like Santa Claus and that's what they want to get a picture with but in that I get to kind of express that kindness and that that gratitude and, and embody that, that character and I, and I do it I would say almost every single day so it's a huge blessing that goes far beyond um, whatever it might that I might do on, on television or in a personal appearance or, or that kind of a thing yeah and uh you're having fun as playing Santa. You know, you're, um, it's a fun thing to be playing. It's a, oh, it's a, it's a wonderful thing to be. And, and I have to tell you, when I first started, I would, like I mentioned earlier, I was a professional speaker. Mm-hmm. And, and I was accustomed to having, I, I wore a beard, but it was very short. I, I, I wore suits and ties and, you know, and I was very accustomed to being in a, in front of the business audience. Yeah. And the first few years I said that I was portraying Santa, I I was, um, uh, I don't know, hesitant, I guess. <laughs> I, I, I won't say I was embarrassed. I, I wasn't embarrassed, but, I, but at the same time, there was some reluctance for me.